All right, we are back in the Fox 61 Mealhouse uh, with uh, a guy that it's gonna really sound like I'm blowing smoke here, but but he really has become one of the uh, culinary corners of uh, the food world in Connecticut. And I say corner because he's down in southeastern Connecticut, my favorite town, uh, Mystic, uh, which was already on the map for a lot of great restaurants, but Adam Young came to town uh, with Sift a few years ago, opened up Sift Bake Shop there. And uh, right. in the process, you won a, a little contest with uh, the Food Network. What was that again? Sure, so uh, about three years ago, I won, um, I won a show called Best Baker in America. I mean, look, if you're going to win a show, go with that one. That's, that's got to be better than American Idol, I think. Since then, he has turned the, the uh, Mystic into his own empire with not just Sift, but Mix at Sift, which is a rooftop bar. Uh, you've got a donut place called what? We have Young Guns right across the street here on Main Street in Mystic. Uh-huh. And, uh, and then uh, also, and then you got these beautiful boxes here uh, for Adam T. Young Confectionaries, right? Is that? Is that yes. It? Oh, man. That's it. And what? that's actually in. I'm in the production kitchen for the chocolate shop now. So this is an e-commerce uh, business that we have. We're shipping these chocolate bonbons and truffles nationwide. Coming soon to Bowling Alley, too. Ask him about that. We're going to talk about a charity uh -huh. weekend that he's got going on coming up in September. But in the meanwhile, we're going to do a zucchini bread, which uh, we've got all the ingredients here. And often is the case, Adam, I try to cook along with the pros like you, and it ends up to be an unmitigated disaster. Uh, but you say that's not going to happen with me, right? Not at all. This is a very, very simple all right, go, recipe. Go to work. I, I'll, I'll follow along. Go for it. Okay, so again, very, very simple, very straightforward. Zucchini's coming into season, um, super ripe, super fresh, super flavorful, uh, a good amount of hydration, a good amount of water inside the vegetable itself, which is important for the, this recipe. We're going to get into that. Um, something unusual for us, we're going to first cream together the sugar and shortening. Okay. So we elect to use shortening in this recipe instead of butter because butter has 12 13% water. And it's too much water for the recipe if you calculate in the water from the zucchini. Right. So it doesn't emulsify. Think of the thing of the zucchini batter is like a vinaigrette. You've got to get the fats to emulsify with the liquids right. in order for it to bake evenly. Now, okay. I've, now I'm cutting down this shortbread a little bit. If it's at room temperature, that'll, that'll break it down a little bit more, right? Absolutely. And if you want to soften it a little bit, you can leave it, you know, in, in the warm sun in the window or you microwave it for, you know, 10 to 20 seconds. But yeah, you we're, want a little, it to be we're a little late for that, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Set you up for success here. That's All great. right. But, uh, but essentially what we want to do is you want to cream. You see it here, I have the sugar and the shortening. You want to really kind of manually manipulate that as hard as you can and get this aerated a little bit. So the air that we fold into the, uh, or that we whip, I should say, into the fat and sugar here is gonna help the zucchini bread rise. Yep. All right, so now if you're gonna do a zucchini bread, you need zucchini, I'm thinking. Of course, yep, before we do that, we're gonna add our whole eggs in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you add a six? I can't see you either. You? <laughs> oh, this is great. Just, add, just put everything in the bowl. All right. Egg, you know I mean? How, well, how many eggs are going in here? <laughs> so we're going to go in with the eggs, right? And again, we're going to try to get everything super cream together and nice and smooth, right? And then... I'm so glad you know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> so... Zucchini, right? I've shredded this on the box grater. Mm. It has a good, it's very, very wet. There's a lot of natural water in here. This is gonna go straight in, okay? All right. We're gonna fold, fold in here. All right, so we've got, we've got the wet ingredients in, but now we've got a whole bunch of dry that have to go in as well, right? That's correct. They all play a very specific role. So we have all-purpose flour. Mm -hmm. Okay, even though it's a zucchini bread, we're using a weaker flour and all-purpose. You can use half cake, half all-purpose. What you don't want to do, this is a cake style bread, kind of quick bread. Mm -hmm. You don't want to create gluten, right? So you don't want to over mix this at this point once we have it dry. You don't want to use a stronger flour like a bread or a high gluten flour. You want to all right, we're, all. Down, we're down to a minute, Adam. So what, what else is going in? Baking soda, baking powder. These are chemical leaveners. They're going to help the, assist in the, uh, the leavening right. of the bread. Kosher salt. Got it. Brown sugar, right? Got it. And, Hold in. And when you mix this all together, you're going to have what looks like, God bless, something better than what I've mixed up here. But I make it out of there. Oh, but you're going to see this on the air in a little while, and you're, you're never going to touch <laughs> me again. Uh, this goes in a pan, and it goes in the oven for how long? 325 goes into a cake pan, right? 325 for about 
35 to 45 minutes. Okay. Um, you, can, you can check it by taking a, a digital probe and, and baking it to about 190 degrees in temperature. Okay. Here's the good news. If you come to the, ad, uh, the book launch charity weekend, and the reason uh, we're talking about a book launch is here's the book right here. Adam's got his own cookbook coming out uh, with all his great recipes for all the croissants, all the macarons, everything that's in that you love at SIFT is going to be there. And the good thing is if you come to the charity weekend, you're doing four separate events, and I'm cooking at none of them. Well, you should be. You always have an open invitation here. Lies, <laughs> Lies he's talking about. What are we going to see at this uh, this weekend? Uh, so, so it's the September 16th through the 19th. We're going to see a series of events. We're doing cocktail parties and book signing, a Sunday brunch book signing, uh, kind of a cool walkthrough tour of our, my entire operations to get to engage with all the chefs, food stations throughout. Really, really exciting stuff for the whole week. And we're having a guest chef dinner. Uh -huh. flying in a bunch of mentors that I used to work for. Uh, they're going to help me cook a kind of a multi-course fine dining dinner. For, that's our main event for Saturday night. Ticket, tickets available at siftbakeshopmystic.com. Right. You go and you eat yourself silly at any of these great events and you're raising, raising money for charity, I guarantee it's going to look better than, than this zucchini bread that this uncooked mess that I have. <laughs> you will have good looking stuff like the croissants and everything here. Take a shot of this, Tim, because we got to go. Adam Young, always a pleasure to see you here uh, via Thank Zoom. So we appreciate much. you and good luck uh, coming up September 16th to 19th and good luck with the cookbook as well.